everyone. In your music theory workbooks, Unit 12 talks about the string music being created today. Modern orchestral string instruments and their music originated in Italy and spread throughout Europe for centuries. Today, string music is thriving all over the world. We are living in the modern era in which traditional forms of classical music continue to be performed in concert halls like Carnegie Hall in New York City and also opera houses like the Sydney Opera House in Australia. New genres of string music have emerged as well. In the middle of the 20th century, the movie industry roared onto the scene, and with it came a new reason to write orchestral music. From the soundtracks of Star Wars to the songs of Disney movies, composers like John Williams and Alan Menken created some of the most recognizable orchestral music being written today. New staged musical theater productions like those performed on Broadway have also grown in popularity and are being performed all over the world. In the early 1900s, jazz was born in the African-American communities of New Orleans, and its popularity quickly spread into the dance halls across America. It crossed over racial and cultural barriers, and the influence of African-American rhythm and dance is seen today not only in jazz, but in rock, rhythm and blues, and even in more traditional orchestra music. Whereas bands were once primarily comprised of wind instruments, drums, and guitars, we now see string players performing in jazz ensembles and rock bands. Many string players continue to play acoustic instruments that are amplified by microphones, but a growing industry of electric instruments provides musicians with a whole world of new sounds and effects. There are about 1,200 orchestras in the United States today, ranging from volunteer community orchestras to high-caliber professional orchestras with extremely skilled and well-paid musicians. Youth and school orchestra programs are also flourishing across the globe, creating new string jobs for adults and new learning opportunities for kids. In this book, you've studied the four major artistic eras in which string music has evolved. You've learned about some of the most influential string composers in each of these eras, as well as the types of music that evolved during these times. As a young string player, you are carrying on a tradition that dates back 500 years and continues to evolve and grow today. Maybe there is a place you will have in this long-standing tradition. What contributions to the world of string music will you make? Now read Lesson 12.1 in your workbook, then review the terms in the glossary and the previous study guides to the history units in this book to prepare for the Book 1 History Test. My name is Christopher Selby. Thank you for watching this tutorial on music theory for the successful string musician.